Hi, I'm Liam, a designer and design advocate on the material design team at Google. In this video, we're going to learn how color works in material design, how to apply custom colors to material components, and how to handle edge cases with further customization. First, let's talk about color themes. A color theme in material refers to a constrained set of colors that define an interface. Here's an example. The default material theme includes expressive colors like the primary and secondary, as well as color slots for backgrounds, surfaces, errors, and more. Defining a color theme this way is useful because it helps craft a consistent and rational color story that can be applied globally and consistently throughout your app. This helps users perceive content and more easily understand how the app works. One nuance of the color theme is on colors. On colors are called on colors because they appear on other elements. For example, the on background color for Fortnitely is black because the text that appears on the background is black as well as other elements like icons that also appear on the background. On colors are useful because they can help ensure that content appearing in various contexts throughout your app remains consistent and readable. They also give you a consistent global control over things like color contrast, so you don't need to fine tune the text on every surface of the same color, as long as the corresponding on color for those surfaces meets contrast requirements. These colors can also have different emphasis levels, which can be helpful for communicating in information in state-rich environments or when you create a dark theme. Next, let's take a look at how color gets applied to components. Color is one of the subsystems that allow you to theme material components, customizing them at a high level to create a unique expression across your entire app. Each component's color fits into a category. For example, the colors for a button's container and text correspond to the primary and on-primary categories. These categories are also shared by other components, so changing the value of the primary color, for example, will have a ripple effect that customizes all the components that use that category. Now that you know how it works, let's create and apply a custom set of colors. For this example, we'll work in the Build a Material Theme project on Glitch. We built this project at glitch.com slash appmaterial to make it easy to customize components with simple code changes. You can see that although the baseline material theme uses a bright purple, not every component or element uses the same bright purple. For example, the active state of the navigation drawer appears to be a lighter shade. This is because Material uses opacity and tonal palettes, which we'll see in a moment, to expand our primary and secondary colors accommodating states and other elements of components. We'll also open up the color tool on Material.io, which can help us generate palettes and see how our colors will work together. First, let's find a primary color and copy its hex code. Once we have that, we can insert it into our mytheme.scss file to update the primary color across the entire theme. We can also add a custom secondary color. So let's choose one that goes well with our primary and get its hex code too. And we'll insert that just the same way. And just for fun, let's pick a new background color as well. And we'll copy its hex code just like before. And we can enter that into our theme as well right here. So now we can see how these colors have propagated throughout our entire theme right down to every last component. This theme uses Material's default black and white on colors, responding to primary and secondary colors for light or dark variations. Sometimes you might run into an edge case with color themes. One example is our material study app Crane, which is built for personal travel. One of Crane's brand colors is a vivid red color, which can often carry semantic meaning that communicates errors or other states. So in this case, Crane has chosen to implement a custom error color with this yellow-orange hue. This allows the red color to remain expressive while still ensuring that the interface communicates coherently with the user. You can implement custom colors like this easily in your own material theme by adding a custom error color here. To explore custom color themes in a design environment, you can also grab our design kits for Figma at figma.com slash appmaterialdesign. Just grab your colors from the tonal palettes we generated before and apply them to your global styles like this. You can dive deeper into color by checking out our video on crafting a dark theme, find more color guidance on material.io, and subscribe to our channel for more design content and tutorials.